offered our assistance to the government in its efforts to help those um, arrive. Um, this includes medical and other provisions and technical advice on how to process the group. Um, UNHC has also offered its expertise in interviewing the different groups to determine who are in need of international protection and who are not, as those rescued are likely to be a mix of refugees and economic migrants. UNHC understands that the group includes about 700 persons from Bangladesh who may not need refugee protection. Our concern is for the relatively small number of Rohingyas from Myanmar in the group who are likely to need international protection and cannot be returned to Myanmar. At this time, UNHC has not received a formal response from the government asking us to participate in any operational way, but of course, we stand ready to do so if required. Let's not forget um, that this refugee issue is not new in the country and there are already over 150,000 refugees registered with UNHCR in Malaysia. Um, when we talk about responsibility for refugees, um, refugee protection is a state responsibility. And when the state is unable or unwilling to take on that responsibility of providing protection and status verification for refugees, UNHCR undertakes that responsibility on behalf of states. Now, the reality is that UNHCR does not possess the capacity and resources of the state. Globally, UNHCR is facing growing needs for protection and, and assistance, yet the agency is challenged to its fullest capacity with simultaneous emergencies in operations like Iraq, Syria and other places. In Malaysia, within these dramatic funding challenges faced, we have been forced to prioritise protection to the groups most in need among a much larger, already vulnerable population. UNHCR alone cannot carry the responsibility of refugee protection. And our approach includes encouraging the government to take greater responsibility for the management of and support to refugees and to encourage and support civil society and community-based organizations to assume greater hands-on responsibility in the area of assistance to refugees.